Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, I've been busy. Um, the machine is in the house, which was no small undertaking. Um, we moved it in as two pieces, the base, and then we moved this, the, just the frame on top, not the table, not the Z-axis, none of the brackets were on, and two of us could barely lift. The frame was easy. The frame is probably 150 pounds. Um, that's not a big deal. The, or the stand. The frame is a lot. Uh, it's every bit of 250, 300 pounds. I mean, it's, it weighs a lot. Um, and then we've got probably another 100 pounds into the sliding table. Um, <laughs> look at that. Ah! So, um, again, quarter inch thick, two and a half by two and a half angle there. Uh, bearing blocks are there and there. There's some holes here so I can get to the bolts down in there. Um, this third one is the one that catches the, uh, the nut on the lead screw. And I was talking about throwing diagonals in here and all kinds of stuff, but it's, oh, come on. That, there's a point at which you gotta just walk away. Um, this, this table here weighs 100 pounds, um, about. <laughs> I mean, I, I it's, it's, uh, it's heavy to pick up. It, it's 100 pounds. It weighs as much as a sheet of MDF, um, easily. But I can tell you this, it is, well, here, check this out. So watch that monitor there. Can you see it shake? It's hard to... There you go. So I'm actually shaking the entire building. <laughs> the whole sunroom. <laughs> so, but I am not shaking the table in relation to the frame. It's just... It ain't moving at all! Same with this axis. I mean, look at that. Can you see that? monitor shaking up shaking the whole floor this not going anywhere uh it's it's slop free it's a hundred percent slop free it's incredible um here is one of my motors sticking through the box tube like i had planned it's the bearing block and the coupler the z-axis is another Probably 100 pounds as well. Uh, maybe not quite. Maybe 70 pounds. Um, quarter quarter inch by two and a half inch angle there and there with a quarter inch piece of two inch bar stock in the middle to space it out. And then the up and down part of the Z axis is again quarter inch angle and then quarter inch plate there, there, there. So it's it's a total of a, this is a half inch thick. And I tapped it, I drilled and tapped it for 5 16 uh, bolts so my plates can bolt onto there. Um, this, th this is a tank. This is just not going anywhere. Full length gussets. I was going to run these a little more vertical and do a nice big swoopy cut there. But in the end, I decided to just go whole hog and do a 45 all the way to the front. So... There is that. Um, plates. Here are the big honking feet, quarter inch feet. That's a half inch bolt, three inches long. And then it goes through this pad with 12 screws, uh, inch and five eight screws going into this uh, subfloor. Um, total of 48 screws and four big honking bolts are bolting this thing to the floor. <laughs> I have widened this is my table I've widened these blocks to nine and a half inches here is the back of the Z axis again quarter inch going to the nut on the lead screw and then a strong back uh, rib I'll finish up these welds when I probably paint it this spring uh, the old Z axis I had 
these blocks touching each other at three inches. Now they're at six inches. So I've, I'm down to six inches of total travel. But the more I thought about it, um, I don't have a six inch long bit. <laughs> so why would I ever need more than six inches of Z? Um, and since the router is three and a half inches in diameter, if I wanted to go, you know, if I had a, if I had a six inch block of material, I would have to mill enough room for a three and a half inch router to fit past the previous cut. So uh, realistically, I'm not going to be doing stuff more than maybe, you know, an inch and a half, a couple inches. So, um, so yeah, I lost Z travel. I lost travel everywhere, but holy geez, I'm, it's so friggin' rigid. It's unbelievable. Uh, final numbers. Looks like about 24 inches. On the X, looks like 18 on the Y and 6 on the Z, or the Z. Um, here is the, um, this is the, uh, the Y axis lead screw going in there. And it's, again, a big piece of 3 16 inch uh, box tube that I chopped up, and it holds the, um, uh, the bearing block there. And then there's the motor stuck through, stuck through the tube. And then, uh, but wait, there's more. Um, okay, I'm going to set you down for a second. Don't worry, I'm still here. I've just got to throw a piece of wood up on the deck here. I know it's black video, but, um, but don't worry. I'm, I'm almost there, almost there. One more piece. All right, and we are almost, okay, yeah, now I got you here, okay. So here, there it is with the deck material on. Now, I got kind of smart here. These holes um, are T-track holes. I use, um, did I, do I have a T-track bolt? could have sworn I had a. Um, they're, these T-Track bolts, arg, arg, um, they have a funny head on them. This, this is eventually going to get a 5 16 inch notch right in the center, producing this recess and then a slightly smaller notch here. And those grooves are going to go all the way down. And then the bolt can go through here with the head of the bolt sliding in this slot here um, for my uh, for my toggle clamps. Now, these dados are actually lined up with the ribs that make up the table. So, in theory, <clears throat> when there are grooves here, that is how I'm going to get the screwdriver through to bolt. This first layer, this first layer gets bolted to the table, and then the second layer will get glued and clamped to the first, but glue only, no fasteners, no metal fasteners. So I can hit this table with a bit and not have to worry about um, uh, hitting fasteners with a bit. And then once this is glued together and this piece is screwed to here, then I can grab my router and I can finish up these and make them into T-tracks for my hardware to fit through and then if I ever need to remove this I can go through here with um, a drill bit and pull the screws out of each of these slots so there is my table it is so nice uh, and I think that's it there's just a lot a lot a lot of weld and a lot of steel and a lot of weight and uh, and there you go. So now I've got wiring. I've got to figure my stop switches. I've got to probably do one more round of adjusting all the glides and the blocks and bearings and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, and then do final squaring up of the machine. And, um, and we'll be looking good. But there you go. It is in the house. It is uh, just about done and bolted to the floor and ready to go. So... Um, Next video you see will probably be milling material, I would think. Sliding table. <laughs> that was the way to go. That was smart. Doing the whole machine twice, not so smart. But the second time when I did get it right, smart.
Okay. Ting. <laughs>